Hi guys, my name is Renat Filizola and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Active Directory on Windows Server 2019. So I have here my Server Manager dashboard and to install Active Directory we need to add roles and features. So we need to click on that and it's going to show uh, uh, that this is a wizard that helps you to install roles and stuff like that but for now we just have to click next and the next option is role based or feature based installation or remote desktop services installation we need to keep role based or feature based installation let's skip this and hit next next one is just to select the destination server which is uh, I will install on my DC1 server which the IP address is 192.168.0.220 and my operating system is uh, Microsoft Windows Server 2019 standard evaluation so we just have to keep this as the default and click next now we need to add the Active Directory domain services. I'm gonna click this, I'm gonna check this. And it says, okay, so to install Active Directory, you would need to add those features. So we can add features. We can accept the default features that we need to install, add features, and we will also install uh, DNS server and it's going to ask to add features so click on add features and it says no static IP address were found on this computer but if we go here and if you go to network and internet settings go to Ethernet and network and sharing center change adapter settings right click on the network card and go properties and double click on the internet protocol version 4 and as we can see there is a static IP address so everything is is okay so we need to click OK OK close 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 so even though if it says no static IP address were found we just checked that uh, the static IP address is already set up we just have to click continue and go next features we are okay with those features we don't have to do anything on this screen on this window click next and it says just a uh, brief uh, information about Active Directory, domain services. Uh, it says that stores information about users, computers, and other devices on the network. We just have to click Next. And now it's the same thing, explaining what exactly a DNS is, the purpose of it. Uh, we can click Next. And this is just the confirmation for what we have to install then we can click install it's going to start the installation it's going to check and install all the features that is required for our active directory installation and also for our DNS installation. Let's just wait a little bit. So as you can see here, we have a, a group policy management, a remote server administration tool and stuff like that. Uh, DNS server tools, uh, Active Directory Administrative Center, Active Directory module for Windows PowerShell, ADDS tools and everything that we need 
uh, to use Active Directory and DNS server. Okay, it says configuration required, installation succeeded on DC1 server. Now it's already installed and we just have to close. And as you can see on the top, there is a exclamation, yellow exclamation on my flag, which is my notification. So we need to click on that. And it says, okay, uh, configuration required for Active Directory domain services at DC1 server. We need to promote the server to a domain controller. So click on that. And this is the deployment for our configuration. As you can see, for default, it comes with those three options. Uh, the default is add a domain controller to an existing domain, uh, add a new domain to an existing forest, and add a new forest. As we don't have any forest, we don't have any domain, we need to add a new forest. And the root domain for my forest, or for my root domain, I will choose my name dot local. Click next. And the domain controller options. I will keep everything the default. So my forest functional level is going to be Windows Server 2016. Uh, my domain functional level is Windows Server 2016. And we need to create a password for my uh, directory services restore mode. So I'm going to create a password for that. And I'm going to hit next. The DNS options, it says a delegation for this DNS server cannot be created because the authoritative parent zone cannot be found. It's okay, it's fine, it always shows this message. We can proceed clicking next. It's verifying the NetBIOS name. It will show here my domain, which is my name, except the dot local. Let's just wait a little bit more. And there we go, the NetBIOS domain name is here, which is my domain, and we can go next. And now we have to specify the location uh, for our database, log files, and sysvol. We can change it but I will keep as the default. See Windows and TDS for my database, for my log files, see Windows and TDS also, and for my sysvol folder, see Windows sysvol. I'm gonna click next to continue. And now we have to review the options we have set up. That's fine. I agree with all of them and go next. It's going to check now the prerequisites for my installation. It will take a few seconds. That's fine. It shows here all prerequisite checks passed successfully. Click install to begin installation. You can scroll down and you'll see prerequisite check completed and same message as we see here. So now we can install uh, the Active Directory and all of the configurations we, we have done. Click install. It 
it won't take too long uh, let's just wait a little bit it shows some information here about the server and stuff like that about my DNS okay it's setting now the LSA policy information it's configuring the DNS and okay it says the server was successfully configured as a domain controller it's going to be restarted because Active Directory Domain Services was installed or removed. I can click close and it's booting, it's restarting our server. just wait a little bit more and I will pause this video to get it's applying the computer settings uh, it's applying the configuration so I'm gonna pause this video and when it gets uh, applied I will come back okay so now we have all the setup applied all the configuration applied to my Active Directory into my DNS. I'm gonna log in, and as you can see here, I have my domain, which is my name, and backslash the username. So I'm gonna enter my password. Okay, so I'm gonna check it's it's still loading my server manager dashboard let's just wait a little bit there we go so if I go to my local server and we can see that the computer name is DC1 server and the domain is my name dot local so Renat Filizola dot local and this is my IP address uh, that's it so now we have set up an active directory and a DNS I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video please hit the like button give us a comment and subscribe to my channel thank you so much guys and see you later